Alright, hi everyone. I'm back for 25 days of manga. Um, I don't have a lot of time to make this video, so I'm going to try to um, not yammer as much. So today, I am actually going to talk about Daytime Shooting Star by um, Mika Yamamori. So this is one of the newest sojos that I recently fell in love with. It's kind of what's gotten me back into reading sojo and giving all these new ones new shots. Because um, as you know, I was just on BL and Yuri and um, anything LGBTQ basically. And I saw someone on Twitter talk about this and I checked it out and... Oh my god, is it worth picking up to read? It's so good. It's so good. It's still ongoing. Only three volumes are out so far. Volume 4 comes out, I think, it's either late January or early February. I can't remember exactly. Um, but um, we're getting more. Well, it's not ongoing in Japan. It's ongoing in America. It's actually ended in Japan. We're still getting releases of it. Um, all the characters are really cool and interesting. Um, the art in it is... Oh, I just absolutely love, love, love the art of this series. Um... I love this artwork so, so much, and this guy here is um, Shishio. I forget what his first name is, but I love him so much. He is by far my favorite character. Um, Suzumi is, she's a really interesting, nice character. She's a little different from your basic Sojo main girl. Um, she's not like, she's tough without being like your basic like strong, optimistic, vocal female lead. Like we're going through this emotional new journey with her and that's a really nice interesting um, venture to go on with Suzumi. She meets, you know, friends, makes friends, and there's two guys who get introduced in this story, and let me tell you, because you know we get um, Shishio here, who, um, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, um, let me find a good page for it. Also is her teacher. He is also her teacher. And, oh my god, you know, I have a few exceptions to the student-teacher relationship. This is one of them, because I love Shishio and I love Suzume, and Hall. Oh, I want them to be together so bad, because I love him so much. And... I just know that that might not be the case, but I won't say anything, because, I mean, I haven't finished it. I, this is just my, I'm going off on my feelings, and, um, I'm going to find them real quick. What's his name? Mamura? Mam Mamura. I think Mamura is his name. This guy here. He's like the other love interest. And I do actually really like him as well. I have no problems with um, Mamura. He is like kind of cold standoffish. But he didn't grow up with girls. So he gets very embarrassed. And blushes whenever like girls um, even interact with him just slightly. So that makes him a really fun interesting character. And Suzumi kind of like teases him and goes off on that and then um Yuyuka 
is one of those characters who kind of like pretends to be all sweet and delicate and um you think she's gonna go on the trope of i'm gonna pretend to be your friend but actually i'm not your friend and i'm a horrible evil bitch so they kind of like think they're gonna go into that but then suzume just kind of like doesn't fall like she does fall for it at first but doesn't care like she kind of cares but they like talk it out and she just sees that like you know that she's insecure and she likes Mamura and she's like well I'll help you and then they like become friends and they have this really weird dynamic that I'm really into it I really like their friendship um those are all the characters I really like there's other characters that get introduced but um they're all right they're all right they're not like my favorites or anything um they're fine um sub characters to kind of keep the plot going um, really fun, cute, um, series, lovely art, all these covers are really cool, I love them, and I've seen some of the cover art for some of the new ones that are coming out, and I am all about them, but if you have not got the chance to pick up Daytime Shooting Star, Oh, do it. It is really, really, really good. Um, and even if the student-teacher thing bugs you, like, there's Mamera in there, too, so I said to suck it up. If you want to read it, actually, I'm not going to put that up yet. Um, definitely worth picking up. Um, great art, and a lot of, like, the cover art for like the chapters are really cool I like them and um, yeah I like these two and her uncle her Suzumi's uncle who she's like living with right now I love him like apparently he gets hit on by like gay guys all the time but he's not gay he he's straight well that we know of anyway um, he says he's straight but he gets hit on like by guys all the time and like um, at bars and such it, oh, I really like the scene like look at the smoke coming from a cigarette here it's a cool scene Here's like really what Yuyuka's character is actually like. She's very bold and blunt and kind of doesn't deal with people's shit. She gets tired of um, crap real fast. Yeah, we get like, you know, a lot of these cute moments. Like, ah, I love um, Shishio so much and... It's gonna be hard. Like, I love him! Look at him! Look at him! I love him with his glasses and he just kind of, oh. He just seems like a real dude. Like, I'm like, I see him off the street and I'm like, yep, yep, yep. Um, but anyway. I think that's where I'm gonna end with Daytime Shooting Star because, um, I've only read three volumes. I don't want to really spoil anything for people who haven't read it yet. Um, just know that it's really good and you should pick it up and try it out. Especially if you like Sojo's. Um, nice art. Good um, driven story. I can't wait to see where it's going to go. I thought it might break my heart eventually. But it's totally worth picking up. So um, get your copy of Daytime Shooting Star. You know, by Mika Yamamori. Do it. Pick it up. Read it. It's really good. And worth your money, for sure. Well, if you pick it up and don't like it, don't blame me. Okay. I'm just trying to influence you to support the mangaka and to um, read the story. Alright, so that's where I'm going to end this video today. I will try to make a video tomorrow. I need to plan what I'm going to talk about and not make it super long like Castle Swimmer video and I am gonna be hyped as fuck because Star Wars is tomorrow! Alright, bye guys!
Tschüss.